I come in, sir? Please come. Good evening, sir. Good evening, Mahi. Sir. Please sit down. Sir. Am I pronouncing your name correctly? So, Mahi will like to have a brief introduction from you. Uh, so, my name is Mahi Sharma and I belong to Dhar district of Madhya Pradesh. Uh, my higher education is from Indore, that is from Government uh, Autonomous Model Holkar Science College, Indore. And I have been engaged in uh, uh, speech and debate competitions throughout my uh, college uh, in Hindi language. And I have been a university team member of volleyball team of my university. I have completed my graduation in the year 2021. And after that, I have been preparing for UPSC CAC. And it's my second attempt at UPSC first means in first interview. Oh, so, uh, you are from Madhya Pradesh, Mahi. Yes. Sir. So, tell me, lot of uh, lots have been done about women welfare in Madhya Pradesh. Yes, sir. Can you substantiate uh, this point? Uh, yes, sir. Uh, there are uh, many works which have been undertaken by government of Madhya Pradesh, especially in the uh, field of women empowerment. First is the educational field. Uh, the schemes like uh, providing free of cost bicycles to higher and higher secondary girls, uh, it has increased the enrollment ratio in higher secondary education and also increased the literacy level among girls. Uh, second is the uh, financial empowerment. The recently uh, rolled scheme of Ladli Behana Yojana. Uh, it provides uh, uh, 1000 rupees per month to be increased to 1200 rupees per month to the uh, by uh, direct benefit transfer that is dbt uh, sir third is the uh, uh, ladli lakshmi yojana to uh, fight ag against the patriarchal notions of the society uh, and uh, under this scheme the madhya pradesh government and the whole madhya pradesh uh, uh, celebrates the birth of a girl child that is ladli lakshmi good. yojana good. and so mahi very good uh, Uttarakhand's Uniform Civil Code. I want your views on the provision of registration of living relationships. Uh, yes, sir. The uh, recent draft of UCC uh, of Uttarakhand uh, says that it is mandatory for the couples who are uh, wish uh, wishing to live in a uh, living relationship to register uh, to register themselves. Uh, the uh, the views on the my views on these are that uh, first of all uh, it is a breach of a right to privacy of any individual uh, so I think that there should be a categorization of the registration for example we can make age categories for registration that is uh, the couple who is below 21 years of age they have to register themselves mandatory so here I think that age category should be introduced uh, in so registration. you are giving a suggestion also yes that 21 uh, if age. They are below 21. So, registration should be still uh, there. Uh, yes, sir, because. Uh, what uh, if uh, you are DM? How would you implement uh, whether uh, you know somebody is living, having a live in in this particular house? Yes. And uh, suppose a complaint comes to you as a district magistrate, what would be your the procedure to check whether it is a live in and they have not registered? and then you will file an FIR, I mean something like that. Yes, sir. Uh, so, if a complaint like this comes that a couple uh, is li uh, living in a particular house, first of all, we have to look at the definitional aspect of living relationship. So, what is your definition? Definition has, have they come out with any definition? Uh, so, I am not aware of the fact that whether the draft you see. So, what should be the uh, definition, Mahi, what, what, according to you? Since you have suggested yes, another very good suggestion. What is your suggestion of a definition? Uh, so I just require a couple of seconds yeah, to please, frame my please, definition. Please, please, please. Uh, so, according to me, a live-in relation, uh, the definition of a live-in relation should be that a couple uh, 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 as the draft mentions heterosexual couple, so the a uh, heterosexual couple living in a same house uh, with same kitchen uh, engaged in consensual sexual activities without marriage and uh, uh, and so anyway, so who would define all these things like uh, who would check this? I mean it be, before you raid that couple, how would you know all these things? Yes, or would sir. you know from them? 
that whether you fulfill these requirements then only live in anyway let's forget here you have done very interesting debate on should voting be made compulsory what was your stand there uh, sir, i'm I not saying for for and against what is your real stand uh, sir that time also and today also my stand is that uh, at present circumstances voting should not be made compulsory sir mm -hmm. what will happen if it is made compulsory uh sir if we make voting compulsory then there are uh, both the consequences positive and negative sir uh, so which consequence should i tell you sir positive no when i when you when voting should not be there yes you have to come out with only negative things yes, no sir. why should there be positive uh, yes sir so uh, i took the stand that voting should not be uh, made compulsory because of the uh, following reasons uh, first india is a long living democracy and we should uh, adopt uh, an approach of awareness generation and consensus building rather than imposing it uh, so second it has been seen that already without imposing uh, a compulsory voting the voting turnout percentage in india is increasing uh, if we see the data of last three lok sabha elections for example in 2009 lok sabha election it was around 58% in 2019 lok sabha election it is around 68% okay. so it is already okay, increasing good 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 uh, mahi my last question <coughs> ek bharat shreshth bharat so what are the partnering states you know what are the the partnering states who is uh, uh, which states uh, 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 madhya pradesh is partnering with Uh, so the uh, the year in which I was involved in these activities, the partnering states of Madhya Pradesh were Manipur and Nagaland. Mm -hmm. But today uh, it is Karnataka, sir. Today is Karnataka. Thank you, Mahi. I pass on to our member. So, Mahi, <coughs> as a student of sociology, what three changes would you like to see in our present society? Uh, so as a uh, in our present society i would like to see the changes which are first is liberalizing the patriarchal notions and women empowerment uh, second would be sir uh, adopting a new industrial revolution that is industrial revolution 4.0 uh, so uh, uh, third would be the health parameters to increase the health parameters to contribute in the economy of india sir uh, nothing related to child labor and other issues Uh, yes sir i think that uh, child labor should be totally eradicated from india uh, especially the child which are involved in harmful activities mai tell me uh, socio economic impact of deep fakes uh, so deep fakes is an emerging technology where the uh, voice and the uh, appearance of the body can be changed by generative ai uh the socio economic impacts of deep fake up first i'll say about social impacts uh it uh, it can create the mistrust in the society it can lead to uh, harm it can lead to harming the dignity of the individual and uh, it can lead to uh, fears in the minds of people and especially uh, women because it can lead to pornographic images and obscenity if i come to uh, economic impact it can lead to uh, economic harms for example a latest case uh, in which uh, i am not aware of the name of the uh, company but uh, the case in which the uh, voice of the company owner was cloned and it was and and uh, and the case was that uh, the in cloned voice he was talking to some another person for the transactions of money so it can lead to economic harms so these are the socio economic impacts okay mahi would you propose a reservation for women in civil services Uh, so at this position i am not in favor of proposing reservation of women to civil services because it is a merit based exam and uh, already women are uh, covered in the uh, reservations for obc st and sc uh, so mahi coming to your uh, extra curricular activity section so you led your team in state astronomy so tell me your views on space tourism Uh, so space tourism uh, is an emerging field uh, 
where uh, we uh, where we have economic benefits for example uh, uh, the the revenues can be earned by space uh, the activities of space tourism it will give boost to the space manufacturing industries for example recent startups like skyroot and dhruva in uh, india it can lead to an environment of innovation and entrepreneurship providing employment to lots of people uh, and uh, and a uh, related field with is, uh, space tourism is a space mining also where we can mine uh, very valuable resources from the space for example recent psyche 16 asteroid uh, has been reported to contain um, uh, resources of trillions of uh, uh, dollars so these are the uh, my views on space tourism so. and you are also involved in teaching uh, underprivileged children so uh, tell me findings of acer report uh, sir, recently, uh, Pratham Foundation NGO has uh, released the uh, annual status of education report titling Beyond Basics. The main findings are as follows. Uh, after COVID, the uh, enrollment in the government schools have increased by approximately 72 percent. Uh, approximately 86 to 87 percent students aged between 14 to 16 are enrolled, but uh, half of them are enrolled in humanities sector. Uh, and the enrollment ratio of girls in STEM sector is very less, that is uh, only about 28%. And uh, the uh, foundational literacy and the numeracy uh, skills have declined by 29%. And uh, uh, approximately half of the students of the age group of 10 to uh, 15 years are not able to perform uh, basic divisions, that is division of three digit number by one digit number. So these are the latest findings of ASAP. So why such an abysmal situation? Uh, so according to me, uh, this situation is the result of uh, uh, lack of uh, quality infrastructure in the educational institutions, lack of quality education itself, uh, teacher absenteeism, uh, lack of teacher assessment programs uh, in the Indian education system. Okay, last, my last question, Mahi, as a DM, uh, of any district where uh, such reports are true. So, how would you deal with teacher absenteeism? Uh, sir, uh, if for teacher absenteeism is a case in my district, we can apply. Uh, we can use the technology here. Uh, for example, uh, bio fing uh, bio fingerprint kind. Okay, of thank you, Mahi. I pass on to the next one. Uh, Mahi, do you think this uh, caste census is necessary for designing our developmental programs and schemes? Or we can uh, do with the make we can manage with the four categories, which uh, Honorable Prime Minister has said uh, as the big cast of youth, women, farmers, and poor. Uh, so the uh, uh, categories that is uh, the acronym of Gyan, Garib, uh, Annadata, uh, women, and uh, yes, sir. it is a very noble idea. But sir, as far as caste census is considered. Uh, the uh, time t uh, till which we are having caste as an important factor in giving reservations and protective discrimination in India, I think that we need caste census. So. Okay. Now, uh, underprivileged children, one issue is your education, which you worked upon. How to address the issue of malnutrition, which is again, I think, equally big problem for underprivileged children. How to address the issue of malnutrition among children? So the issue of malnutrition can be uh, solved like this. First, uh, as the schemes like midday meal schemes in school and biofortification of food in schools, that is biofortified rice. Second could be with the help of ASHA workers to deliver the um, uh, packets of millets, khichdi, and all this to uh, the doorsteps. Uh, so third could be the awareness generation. Fourth could be uh, the schemes like uh, Jatcha and Bacha uh, empowerment, that is the uh, uh, educating the new mothers okay, how okay. to take care of that uh, newborn baby. By this Shuddh Ke Liye Yudh, what was this competition, speech competition to you? What was the subject like Shuddh Ke Liye Yudh? Uh, sir, uh, it was actually a program, a broad program, Shuddhi Kali Youth, uh, launched by uh, Madhya Pradesh government in the year 2019, when lakhs of uh, liters of adulterated milk was found in Bhind and Murena district of Madhya Pradesh. So basically, it was uh, uh, for creating. So it was awareness. basically a war against um, adulteration. Yes, sir. So what what other areas of administration or um, some mal practices you would like to wage war against other than other than this? Yes. Uh, so, the areas against which I would like to reach war 
आर चाइल्ड लेबर डोमेस्टिक वायलेंस इकोनॉमिक फ्रॉड्स सो सर दिस आर इकोनॉमिक नाउ गवर्नमेंट ऑफ इंडिया इज प्लानिंग टू एनफोर्स सी ए सिटीजन्स अमेंडमेंट एक्ट बिफोर our uh, the selection general elections so do you think it would be a good time keeping in view the volatility of the uh, election election time when already when the the entire atmosphere is charged with politics and because if you remember there was a kind, kind of uh, pan indian level agitation by different groups so when again ca is going to be implemented some kind of protest or some kind of social unrest can be expected uh, sir at present i am not aware of the fact that whether government is uh, thinking to implement it uh, now or uh, now or not as home you minister, mentioned honorable home minister has made a statement that they, they, they have made statement in probably parliament uh, sir sorry i am not aware okay, of no this problem. statement so sir. fine actually okay. tell me the what is the latest on the middle east front middle east pardon sir what is the latest on the middle east front israel hamas war what is the latest there was talk of cease fire yes. temporary cease cease fire uh, so the uh, latest development in this front is uh, the, uh, the a proposal was made for the uh, hostage exchanges uh, uh, to be followed by cease fire uh, but israel has said that it is not uh, uh, re ready to uh, stop its war against hamas so uh, the, the situation is like there is no clarity whether a peace deal will be signed or not sir oh. thank you mai <coughs> mai uh, uh, what is nirbhaya fund and uh, its under utilization is indicative of what all how will you improve nirbhaya fund utilization uh, uh, so i am not aware that what is nirbhaya fund i have to look into it so hmm? sorry sir are you aware of the delhi crime that was committed many years ago yes sir yes sir so this fund was created after after that yes, read up more because you are into so many social activities yes, i'll read all, about it sir all right let's talk about space is space expanding how do we know space is expanding sir if academically we say that uh, space is expanding or not so there is a concept of dark energy uh, which is the reason behind the acceleration of the expanding uh, speed of space and uh, there have been uh, various uh, there have been statements made by various scientists though i am not aware of the name but they say that there are proof that uh, space is uh, expanding due to the dark energy sir through dark energy yes sir all right let's and is space infinite as a science student will you call space as infinite Uh, so uh, as a science student uh, i will say space is infinite uh, because uh, the dark energy uh, it is more than the uh, dark matter present in the space so the uh, cumulative effect of expanding the space uh, by dark energy uh, will uh, uh, will be more than the gravitational effect of dark matter so it will expand more and more so. we rus you write and you read so what you have written in virus can you recite two lines your own creation virus so recently i have written four lines uh, this goes like that apni kavita se ek aisa mulk gadhu jo har disha mein har dasha mein aparajit ho jab bhi bharat ka swarnim bhavishya vachu to jibha par ma sharade virajit ho good mahi uh, you are also a debater so i want you to speak to politicians who are gathered in a room and you are going to speak your man ki baat to them in let's say 90 seconds no, i have 90 seconds yes. to speak yourself uh, so should i speak in english only huh? yes. 
so i'll start by saying uh, greeting them namaste uh, today we here we have uh, the represent uh, you are not only a number of mps but you represent the 140 crore people of india where india is a long living democracy and they have chose you to stand here to speak in parliament on their behalf so i want that the uh, quality of debates in the parliament should increase the issues concern concerning the ground level population should be raised in uh, parliament and uh, the issue should be rational and scientific today we are uh, facing a challenge of uh, we are facing the challenge of empowering women empowering garib empowering annadata and empowering youth youth is our immense potential because we are at the age of demographic dividend where we are having uh, 23 years more to enter into 2047 where india has india is aspiring to be a developed country so for this we we have to encourage and invest in our youth power we have to uh, complete the aim of doubling the farmers income we have to increase the political empowerment All of women thank thank okay <coughs> uh mahi you have also won some wildlife conservation award in a quinch or yes, some okay so if you could tell me what is citis conservation of endangered uh, endangered trade you know convention on uh, you know trade on endangered species yes, what is that Uh, so sites is in convention which deals with the trans transboundary uh, movement in trade of uh, species uh, and it is categorized the species into endangered vulnerable like uh, and other species where uh, it permits the trade of certain species which are not threatened but it abandons the trade of species which are threatened sir so in india which are where it is i mean which are the species which are which cannot be traded traded uh, traded uh, so the species like um, elephant tiger lion they cannot be treated uh, traded sir uh in madhya pradesh what is the status of forest right act 2006 how it is getting implemented is it satisfactory or it is lagging behind You understand that yes. tribal forest rights act. Yes. Mm -hmm. uh, so in Madhya Pradesh, tribal forest rights act uh, is uh, uh, implemented in a satisfactory manner, where uh, where the uh, community is being uh, <coughs> there is awareness awareness generation among the tribal community regarding the rights they possess over the minor produce of the forest. But along with this, they are also told about their duties for the community participation in the conservation of forest. Mahi, what is the most important right that has been conferred upon tribals under Forest Right Act 2006? What is the most important right which has been given to them under this act? Minor forest produce is one of them. It is very small right. What is the major right? Uh, sir, I am not aware, but I can say a right. Sir, I am not sure that whether it is a major right or not. A uh, right to entitlement of uh, lands. Uh, if the uh, if there are uh, if uh, the uh, tribal people are living on the same land from uh, three to four generations, sir, so uh, right to entitlement, sir. tribal for 3 to 4 generations yes. okay uh mahi why we are not so sure about a good friendship um, uh, with our neighboring countries despite we have done so much for them we giving them money giving them support moral support in uh, in in times of natural distress we are supporting them still we are not very sure of a very good friendship with our neighboring countries many of them not all but many of them what could be some important reasons for that uh, so as you mentioned that we are supporting our neighboring countries uh, unconditionally uh, so uh, uh, and uh, we are not very sure about their uh, friendship towards us the reasons could be so first all the uh, many of the countries are evolving as democracies so they have their own right to make choices second is sir, the influence of china over most of the countries by its debt trap diplomacy or by uh, extending unconditional loans to china 
sorry to other countries making them dependent on china uh, and the third would be sir many of those countries are the part of bri projects so uh, they depend good, on good, china good 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 my last question is about ahilyabai holkar what is the role of ahilyabai holkar for cultural integration in india you have i think you were in devi ahilya viswavidyalaya or something what is what was your role in cultural integration of india uh, so the her role in cultural integration of india would be she has built uh, many temples of lord shiva throughout the territory of india for example kashi vishwanath temple maheshwar temple omkareshwar temple so uh, the, the so these uh, temples have uh, integrated india into a cultural unit so, so this would be her contribution sir okay thank you mai so mahi we have asked you quite a few questions from your daf but in case you think that any daf area has still not been covered i can ask you one last question if you wish Yes, sir. I just require to think that yeah. which area is not covered. All right. Uh, so my district is not covered yet, sir. So Ujjain. Uh, so I am from Dhar district, sir. Dhar district. So tell me, what is special about Dhar? Uh, so there are many specialities of Dhar. Uh, first one is the civilizational specialty. For example, a uh, Bagh caves of Dhar uh, depict the Stone Age paintings there. So it is the civilizational uh, significance of Dhar. Uh, the other significance is the fossil park of Dhar, where we have the fossils of dinosaurs, eggs, and the eucalyptus fossils are also there, uh, which are approximately thirty lakh years uh, before their fossils. Uh, third is the archaeological significance of uh, Dhar. Uh, the cities like Mandu, uh, ha, uh, which is known as the city of Jain, the city of palaces. So it has archaeological significance and the fort of Dhar itself. Uh, the fourth speciality would be the Farke Museum of Dhar, where we have fake statues of uh, uh, prominent personalities of India. So sir, these are the very good. nice place. So thank you, uh, uh, Mahi. We close our interview. We'll call you again in few minutes. Meanwhile, you can be in the waiting room. Thank, thank you, sir. You. Come, Please come, Mahi. Please sit down. Sir. Mahi, your perception about your performance. Good, sir. It was good. Yes. You enjoyed? Uh, anything which you thought that maybe, oh, I wish I had not done this? That forest right question that sir asked. All right. So, Mahi, our assessment is that you are a very promising candidate, uh, good personality. We enjoyed having conversation with you, uh, reasonably good knowledge, uh, good communication. You were pretty energized and with all comfort and ease you were able to answer. You didn't feel nervous also. I mean, to us, generally what you were, I don't know. It doesn't matter also. Uh, we have given you 64% marks today. So, I told you the marks before it was because, you know, you should know that basis, your base material, you know, of personality is good, rather very good. Now, two things about improvement. You need to build on this good personality and good communication ability. Now, when I say communication ability, I would say that your, your strength of debating is a little of hindrance for this interview. You were in most of the answers in the same tone as you debate. Even the language that you use as follows. It is very schoolish and very uh, debate-like. So, you know, change this, this format and make it, uh, you know, to the point straight. You also have been repeating questions. 
you know whatever has been told to you uh for example uh if i have asked you about um, voting should be made compulsory so you would say sir voting uh, to my mind the voting uh, is not compulsory today but it should be whether it should be made compulsory or not the reasons are as follows there is no need to start with these three lines at all this was happening in the initial 3 4 5 questions same thing which i told earlier so isko thoda sa make it conversation style baat chit to hoti hai sab baat ke liye theek hai question answer question answer nahi lagna chahiye ek ye tha aapka so it is basically how you are expressing that is to be looked at. you were lengthy also because of this yes so suppose if i were to tell you main aapki jagah hota to main kya kehna cha raha hu ki what do you say about uttarakhand's live in relationship sir uh, i am not in favor of live in relationship because it amounts to moral policing this 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 now you started off with it should be something else you started giving suggestions we had not asked for such and you were landing into a very very troublesome area by giving a suggestion i don't even recall what suggestion was because i never registered that because it was not required us us chhetra mein jao mat aap aapne kuch 21 saal ka bola tha aisa hona chahiye wo cheez ek nayi controversy shuru kar de pehle to wo unasked for hai aapko usi ko elaborate karna chahiye sir because number 1 it is difficult to implement number 2 so far we haven't even heard about what lemon relationship means right thirdly if you had the knowledge which i am sharing with you supreme court has already heard this issue on a writ petition on a pil and it is rejected and supreme court has even made live in relation as a legal no marriage but legal so sir it i am of the opinion that it may need a review something like that. that's all keval usi pe focus karo theek hai तो मैं शॉर्ट में यही कह रहा हूँ एक आपका लास्ट पॉइंट मेरा जो अगेन बहुत अहम है सी ए ए ऑनरेबल मेंबर आस्क आपने कहा मैंने पढ़ा ही नहीं तो मैं जवाब क्या दू वॉज नॉट आस्किंग अबाउट सी ए ए यू न्यू वॉट सी ए एज so i when i was uh, trying to say that i am not aware that whether government is trying to implement it now oh, or not clear kar diya tha unhone yes sir to wo to aap se ye pooch rahe hain aapke views pooch rahe hain views mein koi no ho sakta hai kya kabhi it was not a knowledge related question ki ca ka full form kya hai you can say sir i am sorry i have not heard but wo ye pooch rahe hain ki kya ca ko is samay implement karna uchit hoga yes uska to jawab नो में नहीं आ सकता ना किस आई नॉट रेड इट वो तो आपके व्यू है आई यू कैटिंग दैट्स ऑल इन ब्रीफ लेट्स हेयर अदर मेंबर्स यू आर माही माही यू आर अ गुड कैंडिडेट ओके यू हैव डन वेल आंसर्ड मोर देन 90 95 परसेंट क्वेश्चन यू हैव आंसर्ड वेरी वेल डोंट be on a debate uh, debate type of mode be a interactive mode in yes. interaction sort of thing that that will be better madhya pradesh is very important as far as the tribal as concern you read a lot about tribals in madhya pradesh okay pvt yes. is yes. another yes. other thing forest right act is a very important act in favor of tribals for tribals uh, if they are residing they automatically they have automatically they get that land rights over yes. that is the most important right Yes. land right ownership of that land yes by entitlement i also mean that so entitlement entitlement is different my entitlement is that to get a entitlement over manure forest produce to get a entitlement over community forest community grazing yes. grazing land yes. you know that is the entitlement yes. but the right is different uh, land right in a way you are right in a broad sense you say entitlement entitlement means which so i am entitled for this though it is not mine but i am entitled for this 
this is entitlement okay yes. but right is right right yes. is that a legal right so tribals have a legal right on the land which they have been cultivating since ages yes. and for three generation four generation you are talking that is for the non tribals those who are not tribals but they are residing there they have to establish that they were residing in that area for last 75 years so please read i mean it's a very detailed thing read about uh, forest tribe uh, what is the 2006 act yes. another aspect of tribals i love you olgar you are right and other things also uh, any other i think yeah so th- that was all i mean uh, you done well uh, but tribal mein aap zara sa usko dhyan se dena and ek chhota sa aapka issue aur bhi tha what was that cites cites uh, endangered species yes. it's a international yes. convention it can be enforceable or it is enforceable also eh? and it is a very important convention it is it is there to to to, to stop the illegal trade of the uh, of the wildlife wildlife items trophies wildlife products sher ka khal bag ka khal haathi ka daant yes sir ye sab cheezon ko rokne ke liye hai yes sir to iske bare mein zarur pad lena aap iske zarur rahiye aur neighboring countries ka aapne acche jawab diya wo sahi baat hai बिल्कुल सही जवाब दिया ठीक है ओवरऑल आपने बहुत अच्छा किया चिंता मत कीजिए यू आर डन वेरी वेल एंड इन द मेन इंटरव्यू आल्सो यू डू वेरी वेल ओके ऑल द बेस्ट सो माही आई लाइक योर पर्सनैलिटी योर कॉन्फिडेंस योर कॉम्युनिकेशन बिट लॉन्गिश टू क्वेश्चन यू आर नॉट राइट ऑन स्पेस रिलेटेड बोथ द क्वेश्चन सो रीड अप अगेन ऑल राइट space expanding how do we say that is it infinite as a scientist what will you say then on nirbhaya fund see why this fund was created utilization if i ask you how will you utilize the fund in your district so you should come up with the ideas all right other than that you were good wish you all the best my your personality is very good you are very pleasing and then aapka communication skill confidence level is <coughs> balanced ek to ek thoda sa issue hai aapka rush of current affairs theek hai na or be mentally alert because you can't afford to say no to any opinion based question answer question right and in your introduction you mentioned sir this is my second attempt first interview first mail as karke bola aapne wo mat state of sir i am so and so come from so and so district of uttar pradesh and i have done graduation in this subject my my hobbies are because i have see a very long list of hobbies hobbies and extra curricular activities you pick up two three important okay all the best so my any questions from your side <clears throat> yes sir one question the uh, sir as about nirbhaya fund so i didn't know the exact answer but i could guess that it is related to the that uh, women empowerment and women safety so should i ask to guess that can i guess or no 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 instead of guessing asking for guessing you are not clear about it yes sir about the you know so you can say sir you are talking about the nirbhaya thing which happened you know 10 years ago so he would have said yes uh, i am asking around about that only now for guessing you should not normally you should not but suppose if you are 90% sure that this is the answer then if you knew nirbhaya thing to nirbhaya fund is not difficult to uh, but i didn't as, want to take any risk nahi to that's... thoda sa aap aap keh sakte hain ki sir can i take a guess There are some members who may say no, no. Let's go to some other. Or कुछ कहेंगे कि अच्छा okay try. The time is of essence, you know. A question पूछ लिया आता है ठीक है नहीं तो आगे बढ़ो. So these are generally the the observed guidelines, you know, in UPSC main interview also. But yes, you can if you are ninety nine percent sure. So कुछ करना चाहिए. इसका मैं आपको इलाज बताऊँ कि आपको ऐसे Nirbhaya Fund is related to the incident uh, that happened with the uh, Girl called, you know, was named Nirbhaya, you know, ten years ago in Delhi. Itta to pata tha. Itta bol do. So I, for what Nirbhaya fund is used for? Can I take a guess? 
अभी क्या हुआ निर्भया के बारे में बिल्कुल ही नहीं पता कि कौन है बींग अ वुमन कैंडिडेट थोड़ा सा मिसप्लेस हो जाता है आप समझ तो ऐसा बोल दो और फिर गैस का पूछो ताकि ये ये तो क्लियर हो जाए कि तुम्हें पता है कि निर्भया कौन थी अभी कहते हैं ना कौन और uh, और कोई क्वेश्चन माहिर तुम्हारा ये इंटरव्यू उनतीस को है फरवरी को तो जरा पढ़ लेना कि उनतीस क्यों होते हैं फरवरी में ट्वेंटी नाइन डेज क्लीपियर वाला जो कॉन्सेप्ट है सो इन ऑल माही यू आर वेरी प्रॉमिसिंग एंड द ओनली थिंग दैट नीड्स टू बी बिल्ड इज दैट यू नीड टू परफॉर्म सम मोर प्रैक्टिस नॉलेज के अलावा आपको जो सबसे ज्यादा ऑब्जेक्शनेबल चीज लग रही थी वो आपका कन्वर्जेशन मोड में ना होना एंड विच इज नॉट डिफिकल्ट आप मिरर में अपना प्रैक्टिस करिए वीडियो देखना फिर किसी आपके फ्रेंड हो कोई हो घर में पेरेंट्स हो उनके सामने यू चेंज योर स्टैंड एंड कन्वर्ट द सेम इन टू मोर कन्वर्जेशनल काइंड ऑफ यू नो डायलॉग और डिलीवरी एंड देन यू कंपेयर योर सेल्फ आप खुद ही देखना कि अब क्या ठीक लग रहा है थोड़ा प्रोफेशनलिज्म लाओ ठीक है ना तो बाकी यू आर वेरी ऑनेस्ट योर पर्सनैलिटी इज एक्सेलेंट यू विल गेट वेरी गुड मार्क्स तुम सत्तर तक पहुँच जाओगी मैं बता रहा हूँ सत्तर परसेंट तक एंड इफ यू आर डन योर मेन्स एग्जाम वेल दिस विल पुल यू अप कंपेयर टू अदर कैंडिडेट्स यू आर फार फार बेटर सो यू लेव दैट एज व मेनी ठीक है ना अपनी स्ट्रेंथ को आप रिकोगनाइज करो और हम जितना आपको बोल रहे हैं वो केवल इसलिए कि इससे ज्यादा यही तो पर्पज है आने का जो आप थी घुसने से पहले वो तो हमने आपको जज कर ही लिया अब उसके बाद का जो और एक्स्ट्रा है बोनस दैट यू शुड ट्राई टू ग्रैप ऑल द बेस्ट थैंक यू सर